Hi everyone, this is Dr. Manu Krishnan K. And in today's session, we'll be discussing about an interesting MRI finding that is the thecal sac inundation. So before going in depth to the thecal sac inundation, let's discuss what is thecal sac. So the thecal sac or the dural sac is a membranous sheath or a tube of dura matter that surrounds the spinal cord and the coda echina. And what is thecal sac indentation? Let's discuss the same with the help of some diagrammatic representations. So here we have a clear picture of a vertebrae and an enlarged version of the scene where you can identify the body of the vertebrae. Then you can see the pedicles, then the posterior arch or the posterior neural arch. And in between these structures, you will get to find the vertebral foramen through which the spinal cord will be passing, which is represented by a blue dot here. And it is covered by the meningeal layers and this red color outer ring represents the thecal sac or the dural covering of the spinal cord. So let's have a in-depth picture of the MRI of a transverse section of the spinal cord. So here you can clearly see the parts of the vertebrae, like you can see the body of the vertebrae here. Then you can see the posterior neural arch and the posterior spinous process. And in between you can find out the vertebral foramen. And the same has been marked here with the colored lines so that you can have a better look at it. So here you can see the body, which is covered by the intervertebral disc. Then behind that, you will find the posterior arch or the posterior neural arch. And between these two, you will get to see the vertebral foramen. So the outer lining of the vertebral foramen here will be the green colored area will be the thecal sac. Inside that will be the spinal cord. And here this red colored marked area represents the neural foramen through which the spinal nerve roots will be coming out. So let's see a sagittal section. Before that, let's discuss what is the indentation, the posterior disc bulge. So here you can see the disc in the vertebral disc representation. When you here you can make out the spinal cord here and which is covered by the thecal sac or the dura mater. So if any bulge of the disc is happening posteriorly, that will project backwards and it will indent or affect the ventral part of the thecal sac. So the ventral part of the thecal sac covering the anterior aspect of the spinal cord will be compressed by the posterior disc bulge here. And that causes the thecal sac inundation. So the very same thing, I'm just showing you a sagittal MRI section where you can clearly make out the cervical vertebrae here. And you can see the darkened area that is nothing but the intervertebral discs. And this red marked area here you can see the disc is not limited to the outline. Instead, it is slightly projecting backwards. So that is the protrusion or the posterior disc bulge at the level of C5 and C6 here, which is indenting or which is just protruding into the thecal sac, that to particularly the ventral thecal sac. So the central darker structure which passes here is nothing but the spinal cord and the outer covering is the thecal sac. So here at the C5, C6 level, there is a backward protrusion of the intervertebral disc that is indenting the ventral thecal sac. And here we have the transverse section where you have to consider this the body of the vertebrae. And here you can make out the spinous process or the dorsal arch or the posterior arch of the vertebrae. And here this whitened outline represents the thecal sac and the central dark structure is nothing but the spinal cord. So here also you can see at the arrowed area, here you can find there is a posterior disc bulge which is indenting into the ventral thecal sac and slightly compressing the spinal cord here. So the report you will be getting as here, there will be the right paracentral protrusion of C5, C6 in the vertebral disc indenting upon the thecal sac and the ventral aspect of the spinal cord. So that is what you have observed here. At the C5, C6 level, there is a protrusion of the disc posteriorly that is indenting upon the ventral aspect of the thecal sac. So that creates some associated signs and symptoms as well. 
so let's have a clear look about the transverse section also like here you can see the sagittal section of the lumbar region where you can clearly make out a posterior disc bulge so you have to compare with the other discs over here you can see the intervertebral disc one two three four five six etc and here at the last two you can see that the posterior part of the disc is projecting backwards or protruding backwards causing a thecal sac indentation as i have explained you in the earlier slide that is creating an indentation over the thecal sac and there is a small stenosis of the spinal canal through which the spinal cord is passing so this is an example at the level of the lumbar vertebrae the other one was at the level of the cervical region and the report will be as follows there will be l4 l5 disc posterior disc bulge with the central annular tear and protrusion indenting the ventral thecal sac and l5 s1 disc posterior bulge with left posterolateral annular tear and protrusion indenting the ventral thecal sac so once after reading through the same report you have to look back at the mri report here where you can clearly see the l4 l5 level you can find out there is a posterior disc protrusion that is indenting into the ventral thecal sac and causing a small stenosis in the spinal canal so these are the things that you should be considering while observing an mri and to find out the diagnosis so this concludes today's session thank you